What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today, one of my subscribers, he had asked, well not today, but a couple days ago, one of my subscribers, he would asked me a question. He said, what are your best gourmand fragrance recommendations? You've got to keep smelling sexy. Or you got to smell sexy for them, or something along those lines. And I said, bro, I got you. So if you guys stick around, maybe you'll find out what my recommendations are, guys. Um, uh, these are not listed in any particular order. But uh, Dylan Billion, I hope you uh, enjoy this video and thank you so much for the suggestion. All right, guys, let's get it. So for my first pick, guys, I went with Invictus Victory by the house of Paco Rabanne. Now, Invictus Victory smells a lot similar to Axe Dark Temptation. Uh, it is very, very sweet. There is a very, very strong vanilla note in this fragrance, guys and uh, you really gotta love the note of vanilla, but it, it just, it, it's gourmand to me because it kind of reminds me of dark chocolate and vanilla cake combo. And that is why I chose Invictus Victory by Paco Roban. So for my next pick, guys, I went with Womo Signature by the house of Ferragamo. The reason why I classify this as a gourmand is because this is this this really smells to me like a spiced chai latte. You're gonna have notes of coffee beans, uh, tonka bean, cardamom, and cinnamon. So it's very spicy. Uh, it is sweet. It's not as sweet as the OG, okay? But it is sweet, and there is a leather undertone in here, which kind of reminds me of ombre leather by the house of Tom Ford but the reason why I classify Womo Signature is because it just smells like a spice latte to me and it smells really great so yeah check Womo Signature out if you haven't already so for my next pick guys it is Tom Ford's Nor Pour Femme now Brian actually sent me this bottle and uh I I wore it a couple times, guys, and let me tell you, this is a true gourmand. Uh, this is modeled after a, a traditional Indian ice cream. It's called Kufi. And uh, in uh, Tom Ford's Nor Pour Femme, guys, you're gonna have vanilla, orange blossom, there's mandarin orange, there is this nice vanilla, there is sandalwood. It's very creamy, it's milky, it is, now, I never had the ice cream before, but it, it kind of reminds me of something like, I don't know, like a French vanilla or something like that, guys, uh, for real. It is really, really sweet. There is some floral touches in here. I did actually enjoy wearing this, although it is, uh, uh, the floral notes are pretty prominent. They're subdued by the sweetness and the, the milkiness and the creaminess, but it's a, this is some great stuff, guys. I, I'm not even going to lie to you, so... Yeah, go put your nose on this one. This one is Tom Ford's Nor Pour Femme. Now, come on, guys. I couldn't make this video without mentioning this fragrance. And for everybody who watches my channel and knows me, uh, you'll know what I'm about to say. Guys, this is uh, Montel's Chocolate Greedy. <laughs> this is a true gourmand. A realistically, jokingly, like, it's, it's f so funny how realistic this thing smells. Um, I know Fragrance Dude, he said that it smelled like some chocolate cocoa puff soaked in milk. And it smells like that, guys. It smells like a rich, uh, dark chocolate, uh, smooth, with a little bit of orange in there. It smells like a chocolate orange, uh, guys. Uh, for everybody in the UK, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I believe they used to sell them in the States uh, a long time ago, but this stuff, it smells so real, like you want to eat yourself, guys, and man, it's great. It's great. It, you got to like the note of chocolate uh, in order to enjoy Montel's Chocolate Greedy. But yeah, guys, that is Montel's Chocolate Greedy. Okay, guys, so for my last pick, I went with Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé Eau de Parfum. Now, one of my subscribers, David, he graciously sent this to me while he was visiting the States, and I really appreciate that, man. Now, with uh, Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé Eau de Parfum, such a long name. Um, 
I get this cacao, very sweet, very chocolatey, very vanillic. Uh, there is this lipsticky makeup kind of uh, powdery vibe, I assume, coming from Iris. This really reminds me of like Diorum Intense. However, Diorum Intense isn't as sweet. Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé, it kicks it up like a thousand percent. It is super, super sweet, man. Guys, I mean, guys, uh, super, super sweet. And uh, I, I love this stuff. It lasts forever. And I don't know why people were saying that um, it doesn't last very long because it lasted all day on me, guys. I got at least 10 hours from this. And it's got like this creamy, nutty vibe to it, too. I don't know. It could be chestnut, could be walnut, could be hazelnut. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, for my last pick, Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé Eau de Parfum. And now on to my honorable mentions. So before I go guys, I do want to honor I do want to list off some honorable mentions. And uh, one honorable mention is Mercedes-Benz Club Black. I currently don't own it anymore. I sold it off as uh, I love the fragrance. I just have another fragrance guys that I think is a little bit better uh, in my opinion, a little bit more high quality. And this is another honorable mention. Uh, this is uh, Zerzhov's Ivory Root. Very vanilla, very vanilla, vanillic. Uh, forward fragrance really really sweet and uh, I do classify this as a gourmand just because it is so sweet guys um, it's got like a niece in here and although I might not be the biggest fan of Zerzhov's ivory root I just feel like it, it it's better than Mercedes-Benz Club Black it's just got a little bit more going on for it it's a lot more spicy okay so my second honorable mention guys is Paco Rabanne Pure Excess Night uh, this is one where I love, I love this stuff, guys. I, I, it's really sweet. It's got like a ginger note in here. It is very, uh, it, a lot of people say that it reminds them of kind of like Chinese herbal balm or tiger balm, uh, which it, it kind of does, but this is another one where I love, guys. I, I, I believe this is my favorite Paco Rabanne fragrance of all time. The only reason why I didn't list it in this video is because I've already talked about this one and I wanted to introduce some new things. Okay, my, I guess, what, fourth honorable mention is Opnon 9PM. Okay, now this is an excellent clone of John Paul Gaultier's, uh, I believe it's Le Mans, I could be wrong, it's the one in the black bottle, guys, with the, with the gold top on it, and man, does this smell one-to-one, -one, guys, it's one-to-one, -one. Uh, I believe in 9PM, there is a, ooh, don't kill me, guys. I believe there is a pear note instead of the apple note in the original John Paul Gutierre version. But 9 p.m. lasts a lot longer. It's super, super sweet, guys. Garners lots of compliments, and I put a lot of my uh, coworkers on this fragrance. Uh, so yeah, you know who you are, bro. Hope you're, hopefully you're doing well. You you missed work on Friday, so uh, yeah. That is my what my fourth honorable mention. And my fifth honorable mention, guys, is a Grand Soar by Maison Francis Kirkjohn, guys. That's another vanilla heavy fragrance. I just feel like it's, it's gourmand. It's a little spicy. And maybe I should have titled this video Vanilla Fragrances. But uh, Dylan Billion, I hope you enjoyed this video. I do appreciate you suggesting this video topic. And uh, I, I love engaging with everybody on my channel. And thank you so much for watching the channel Lock Sense, guys. I hope you guys are having a great day, evening, night, whenever you're watching this video. Please take care, stay safe, and remember, you can do anything that you put your mind to. All right, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace out.